Hello, Money Masters. Welcome back to another exciting episode on your favorite channel, Amateur Money. I'm your guide in this journey of financial education. If you're here for the first time, I invite you to hit that subscribe button and join our community of financial enthusiasts. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you find it useful and feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Today, we're diving deep into an often overlooked aspect of personal finance. We're exploring the consequences of not claiming your tax refunds. So let's roll up our sleeves and dive in. Year after year, countless individuals around the U.S. miss out on claiming their tax refunds. Shockingly, a significant portion of these individuals are simply oblivious to the fact that they are eligible for a refund. Their hard-earned money, which they overpaid in taxes, remains in claim, often due to lack of awareness or because they find the process daunting and complicated. But did you know that in the United States, the Internal Revenue Service IRS reported that unclaimed federal income tax refunds add up to over a billion dollars each year? This is a clear indication that there's a pervasive lack of understanding about the tax refund process, and it's costing taxpayers millions, if not billions, of dollars annually. More often than not, people think the procedure is inundated with legal jargon and tedious paperwork which may deter them from initiating the process. However, leaving your money unclaimed can lead to undesired financial implications. By not claiming your tax refund, you are essentially allowing the government to hold onto money that is rightfully yours. It's like giving an interest-free loan to the government, a loan that could be earning interest in your bank accounts or invested in growing your wealth. And that's why we're here today to shed light on the importance of claiming your tax refunds and the consequences of not doing so. This unclaimed money could be instrumental in bolstering your personal finances if claimed and used correctly. What is a tax refund? Before we delve deeper, it's crucial to establish a clear understanding of what a tax refund is. Essentially, a tax refund represents the amount that the government returns to you when you have overpaid in taxes. But when does this scenario occur? The situation arises when the amount of tax you owe to the government in a financial year turns out to be less than the sum of the total amount of withholding and estimated taxes you've paid during the same period. To put it in perspective, withholding taxes refer to the portion of your wages that employers hold back to cover your potential tax liability. On the other hand, estimated taxes are a method of paying tax on income that isn't subject to withholding. This includes income from self-employment, business earnings, dividends, rent, and more. Additionally, refundable credits that you claim also add to this sum. Refundable tax credits are beneficial because they give you a refund even if it exceeds the amount you owe. Adding this all together, if the sum surpasses your actual tax liability, then you've overpaid your taxes. And this overpayment is what we refer to as a tax refund. In essence, a tax refund is the government returning the surplus taxes you've paid over the course of the year. It's not a gift or windfall, it's simply your hard-earned money making its way back to you. So it's vital to understand and claim it appropriately. Why do some people not claim their tax refunds? It may seem perplexing as to why some individuals don't claim their tax refunds. This is your hard-earned money we're talking about, so why would anyone leave it on the table? The answers are varied and nuanced, reflecting the diverse experiences and perspectives of taxpayers. Firstly, a common reason is a simple lack of knowledge or understanding. Some taxpayers are unaware they are even eligible for a refund. Tax laws can be complex and confusing, especially for people who don't have a background in finance or access to a tax advisor. This complexity can lead to misunderstandings or unawareness about potential refunds. Next, there's the misconception that the process is too difficult or time-consuming. The task of filing for a tax refund involves understanding tax codes, filling out forms, and possibly dealing with the IRS. Many people find this task daunting and would rather avoid the perceived hassle. Additionally, in some cases, individuals may not claim their refunds because the amounts are small and they don't think it's worth the effort. They might not realize that even small amounts can add up over the years, especially when invested wisely. Finally, life happens. With the hustle and bustle of everyday life, tax refunds can sometimes slip through the cracks. Between work, family commitments, and other obligations, filing for a tax refund can fall down the list of priorities. 
These factors combined result in a significant number of people leaving their tax refunds and claim each year. Through our discussion today, we aim to highlight the importance of claiming these refunds, no matter how daunting the process may seem or how small the amount may be. After all, this is your money we're talking about, and every bit counts when it comes to financial management. Consequences of not claiming tax refunds. Now, let's delve into the repercussions of not claiming your tax refunds. It might seem like a negligible oversight, but in reality, the consequences can have far-reaching implications on your personal finances. First and foremost, by not claiming your tax refund, you're essentially providing an interest-free loan to the government. This is money that, instead of lying dormant, could have been actively working for you. Just think about it. If you had that money in a savings account, it would be accumulating interest. If invested wisely, it could be growing and helping you build a stronger financial portfolio. Therefore, by not claiming your refund, you're missing out on potential opportunities to enhance your financial growth. Secondly, there's a critical time frame to consider. The Internal Revenue Service gives taxpayers a three-year window from the date the original return was filed or two years from the date the tax was paid, whichever is later, to claim their refunds. If you miss this deadline, your refund doesn't just sit and wait for you indefinitely. Instead, it reverts back to the U.S. Treasury. Therefore, procrastinating or forgetting about your tax refund could result in you losing that money forever. Lastly, unclaimed tax refunds could also mean you're missing out on other tax benefits. These could include certain addictions or credits that are linked to a tax return filing. For example, you may be eligible for additional credits such as the Earned Income Tax Credit EC or Additional Child Tax Credit Act EC, which are both refundable credits. If you don't file a return because your income is below the filing requirement, you could miss out on these credits. To sum it up, not claiming your tax refund means forfeiting your own money and missing out on potential opportunities for financial growth and benefits. It's a financial oversight that has both immediate and long-term implications. Therefore, it's crucial to claim your tax refunds promptly and take full advantage of the benefits they offer. So, my friends, it's crucial not only to know your rights, but also your potential financial gains when it comes to tax refunds. Remember, it's your money, and you have every right to claim it. Stay educated, stay informed, and make your money work for you. Thank you for joining me today on this enlightening journey into the world of tax refunds. Don't forget to hit that like button if you found this video helpful and informative. Your support helps us continue to deliver quality content like this. Leave a comment with any questions, experiences, or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos. And if you haven't already, subscribe and click the bell icon to get notifications of our latest content. Remember, becoming a master of your money starts with you. Until next time, this is Amateur Money signing off.